Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Prime Omar, and today we'll model this part in SolidWorks. This would be practice exercise 25 of this playlist, and I will provide its file in the description link so you can download it from there and you can practice. I'm using SolidWorks 2020, and if you're using a below version or a future version, you can still follow this tutorial. Okay, so as you can see that I have created some very simple commands like base flange and hem edge flange uh, unfold fold and flat pattern okay so let's go to your new select part and just double click it uh, i'm using mmgs millimeter gram second and i will change my background to plain white okay so i will use sheet metal and uh, let's select this one base flange tab and uh, i will select let's say top plane and let's create one rectangle center rectangle and let's dimension this let's say this dimension is 100 millimeters and let's say this dimension is 70 millimeters and uh, I will exit this sketch uh, here sheet thickness is 2 millimeters and I can change its direction you can see that downward or upward i think downward is uh, correct i'm using k factor 0.5 as it is and relief ratio 0.5 okay uh, we can use cage tables as well uh, let's say i want some cut out in the uh, in this portion so i will select this face sketch view normal and uh, i will select again center rectangle and i will create one rectangle here and let's dimension this rectangle let's say this dimension is uh, 50 i will change it to 50 and let's say this dimension is 30 and uh, i will use some fillet and let's say 10 millimeter fillet and select ok you can see that it is fully defined a sketch and now i can use uh, cut out so let's go to your extruded cut and I will select this is sketch that I have just created and I will select link to thickness optimize geometry normal cut select ok uh, next is I will use hem command and you can see this hem command a lot in uh, sheet metal industry and you can see this hem command in hinges so I will select this edge and uh, 15 this is the length that is this length uh, we can increase or decrease this length uh, I will change it to 15 and uh, you can change this one uh, this radius or this cap I will change it to 1.5 and uh, let's change this direction and uh, I will keep all the factors as it is and select ok so after creating hem now I will create one flange here and uh, let's select edge flange and we can edit edge flange as well so I will select let's say this edge and uh, upside and this is 4 band radius and uh, uh, we can change these parameters as well but I will uh, keep the, uh, all these parameters as it is just select this one and you can change this parameter and uh, let's say uh, I will edit this flange so select this one edit flange and I will drag this uh, box to here and I will use this option normal to view and now I can edit this uh, flange so first I will change its dimension to 50 uh, let's create two center point state slots so I will select this option center point state slot uh, I will create one state slot here and I will create one state slot here okay I will select this one hold control I will select this one and I will use this option make equal so these two slots would be equal let's go to a smart dimension let's say this dimension is 25 and let's say this distance from this point to this point is let's say 20 and let's say this uh, this width is uh, 8 millimeters it is still underdefined uh, let's say this pitch is uh, 45 millimeter uh, now you can see that it is still underdefined 
and you can see that I can still drag this uh, slot so I'll go to a smart dimension I will select this point I will select this point and I will constrain this to 20 okay now you can see that it is still under defined I can still drag this uh, so I'll go to a smart dimension I will select this point I will select this point and this vertical dimension would be let's say 15 uh, let's add some chamfers so let's go to here sketch chamfer and I will select this edge and I will select this edge and I have created a 10 by 10 chamfer similarly I will select this edge I will select this edge and I have created a 10 by 10 chamfer select ok so you can see that uh, we are still in the uh, uh, sketch mode we are uh, uh, changing the flange profile so when uh, you have uh, completed your sketch just select this option finish and uh, now you can see that we have just uh, used uh, edit sketch feature or edit uh, flange feature uh, now I will use uh, uh, unfold command so let's go to here unfold command you can see that unfold command is here and you can see this preview so just select this option and the fixed face would be this one and bends to unfold uh, you can see these bends manually and you can see this uh, these bends automatically so just select this option collect all bends and now you can see that uh, it has two bends one bend is this one and one bend is this one just select ok and now you can see that your part is unfolded uh, similarly I can use fold command uh, it is just a reverse of unfold command so select this option fold and uh, fix face is this one and uh, bends to unfold similarly I will use this option collect all bends or I can select manually this uh, uh, this band and this band so it is better to use this option so just select ok and now you can see that we have uh, uh, created a simple sheet metal bracket so let's select this option flatten and now you can see that your uh, blank is ready for machining so let's go to here save save as and this time I will use this option uh, DXF okay and the uh, flat pattern you can rename this part let's say flat pattern uh, exercise uh, 26 uh, sorry 25 and I will select this on my desktop directory and select ok and now your sheet metal blank would be ready for uh, CNC or uh, wire cut you can see that and select ok or save so that concludes this uh, exercise and if you have any question any query uh, related to this topic or any other topic uh, in my channel uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you